spring, but he is uh, he is here. Also, want to welcome in our television uh, viewing audience today on Bally's. Ryan wears the long sleeves even on a hot day and works to the plate, popping up Duran back a shortstop for Carlos Correa. Drifting out into the grass, and Carlos makes the grab, and there's quickly one here. And the first pitch to the lefty is on the inside corner. So the, both Louis Varland and Bailey Ober are scheduled to throw on Wednesday. There's a swing and miss at 0-2. Ryan to the plate 0-2. Catches the inside corner for called strike three outs. Twins sent a group to Dunedin yesterday. Ryan delivers a first pitch in for a strike to the right-handed batting C.J. Crone in the count 0-1. A game on the backfields against some of the younger minor leaguers from Boston who were over. Consistency with that off-speed pitch. Well, I, I, he's good, just flat-out good. But like you said, with as he matures, he's a baseball on the scenes to kind of fine-tune his craft tight slider gets him to 2-2 two, two, and then a splitter fouled off for type and then he's got the curveball that we saw he kept inside on him so he's got four good pitches 2-2 two, two, and there it is that's the slow curve into the first inning for Joe Ryan we will keep it right here in Fort Myers and remind you that we are sneaking up on baseball at Target Field good company to be keeping Carlos Santana will bat switch hitter batting left-handed and he fouls one straight back stay on the adjacent backfields, taking some extra BP. Ball down and in, one ball, one strike. Group, as the 1-1 one -one delivered. And that's looped into shallow center field. Reyes goes back, he'll never get it at shortstop, and that's gonna be, hopefully, the, the woman that was with him corrected him. I'm pretty sure that's Santana. And that's Carlos Correa lining a ball into right field. You heard it pop off his bat, a first pitch swing from Red Sox play a double play depth just underway bottom of the first scoreless baseball and Royce takes a fastball from Nick Pavetto being leaned on heavily in this Red Sox rotation. His 0-1 a little excuse me tapper and near Kepler in the on deck circle. 0-2 pitch swung on a rolled right back up the middle very slow roller Reyes has it flips to second and that's all they'll get that ball took. 1-0 pitch. Slide step to the plate, and the breaking ball is fouled away. It's 1-1. One one. Pretty happy. The 1-1 one misses inside the Kepler 2-1. and one. It turns out to be more complex than you would think because you can't just play one style. Scoreless baseball. Twins threatening. They're on the corners with one out. Big swing and miss by Kepler in the count 2-2. Two and, two. and that was party. Last year was an all-new stance and approach. This year, just tweaking things. And you can see... The improvements he's made can't hold here in the left center field. Here's the pitch. Looked at breaking ball. The pitch. Breaking ball fouled back to our right. That is just about the right height to almost field line on that grassy knoll. Bases full of twins. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. He struck him out. Jeffers took a mighty hack at a 94. Kyle ended up hitting multiple home runs off of field bar. Pitch is down and away to Farmer. One ball, no strike. Pavetta delivers. And he pops this one up. Back at home place. Wong loses the head gear. He's near the net. And that's about three rows deep. The 0-2. Lined into left field. Kalei Rosario playing left field today. Reaches back, reaches up, and makes the catch. And opponents of that, now it's really caught on around the league. It's a pitch wide from... Ryan 1 0. We saw when the Giants were in town, their entire coaching staff. And he says, I go out in kind of some sweats and I just kind of kind of walk around a little bit. As Dahlbeck lifts a high fly ball to left center field, Margo is drifting to his right and Manny reaches up and makes the grab. Tyler O'Neill, a lot of questions, more questions than answers right now in Red Sox camp. And the first pitch in for a strike 0 and 1. And the 1 1 from Joe Ryan. Ripped into the right field corner foul. He was way out in front. The ball in two strikes. And as Danny, that's something that has my interest. As the one two is high, two and two. We love Kaufman. But a lot of. Into it. Especially, where's the money coming from? That's the biggest question. The two two foul bat. A great tailgate scene. Two two. Popped away foul. Stays two and two. So you got to ask yourself, okay, what more is there? Remember when they, have, they hosted the All Star game? certain parts of it they added that boardwalk yeah 2-2 two -two swung on a miss it was a splitter from joe ryan his third strikeout it's been six up six down for ryan 
Christian Vasquez leads off the home second, takes a breaking ball low and outside when voted. Vasquez fouls this ball back into our right. Joel more fluid, both offensively and defensively. Breaking ball a little bit low, two balls and a strike. And right now, when you look at 2 1 pitch, breaking ball roll right back up the middle. Skips over the mound, scooped up by Emmanuel Valdez, and he throws out Vasquez. He's six after going over six with the Dodgers in spring action. Well, he's too good of a hitter. He'll come around to him. And he does know, I think it's Carlos Santana on the team. Yeah, they really live good. near each other. A high fly ball the other way from Margo and into right field for Abreu to grab it. And there are two quick outs for Pavetta. Breakout game here on Saturday against the Rays. Breaking ball into Rosario, who bats right-handed. He's from the big, amongst RBI leaders as well. Another bender, and that's a strike, 0-2. It's going to be the bulk of the roster that helped Cedar Rapids to their championship a year ago. And got a fastball there and showed the quick speed, quick bat. 0-2, fought one off, a breaking ball stays 0-2. Yeah, Dad, he's grown into a powerful body enough. Leans way back in the right-handed box, and he swings and misses. And a slider down and away and out of the zone. Down goes. Swing back to second base. Uh, Throw to Kyle Farmer, but Ray is able to dive back. To get him into the sixth inning, maybe. 0-2 pitch here. Plateward swung on and lifted high in the air to deep left field and foul. Rosario traces it. Oh, over to home run. Come back in fit. Wow, home run Connor Wong. Danny, I am absolutely flabbergasted that that ball was able to stay fair. Well, you talked about the winds. At the start of the game, they said it was 81 with 81% humidity and a 12-mile-hour wind. Swinging miss by Duran adding to that wind. Taps and delivers. This one shot into right field for a base hit. Duran... Big hard turn, run, not breaking stride, and he's going to speed into second base with a sliding double. Oh, no. Comes back to the infield, gets by runs there at the base of the hill. That's going to get the trainer out. That's going to get Rocco Baldelli out. So an O2 be fine. Dispatches his manager and trainer back to the dugout. Now he pitches, and he finds the zone to Yoshida. It's 0-1. The 0-1 pitch upstairs. One ball, one strike. Yoshida fouls away. A splitter at fine camp, bidding for the center field job. Two-strike pitch, now back to the mound. Under the glove of Ryan, Correa picks it up. His throw to first is in time to get the out. As Durant's... Yeah, pretty play right there. You know, those balls come back at you like that, and it's almost like it, it, he hit him like a changeup, and he jabbed at it once. He's grown, former twin. Ryan misses wide with a slide. The 1-0 pitch, just off the outside corner. Vasquez Lee. Ryan delivers. Misses wide again to the right-handed batting crone. It's now 3-0. There's certain players. The thing looked very, very easy. 3-0 is taken all the way by Crone, 3-1. The ball always beat the runner by a step or a half a step. But third two outs and a full count. The 3-2. Off the outside corner, ball four. Leaves. Here's Cassis. And the first pitch is high to Tristan Cassis. Lined out to left. His headed stance brings his feet close together. And the pitch fouled away down the third baseline. I guess I shouldn't say that. The way the wind's blowing, that could end up coming back. It's playing it about. They're on the corners behind Joe. And the breaking ball is in for a strike. That one. Oh, we only got one challenge in the spring breakout game. As a pitch piled high in the air. It's the wind. Lewis has to play that wind. He's on the warning track. And he has run. Nick Pavetta with a 2-0 lead drops a breaking ball low to Carlos Santana. One ball, no strikes. Bottom just floating along. All is harmonious. And then there's always a couple of days where you get to point in camp where suddenly there's a bit of a waterfall. What do we got injury-wise? What's the latest update? We start with the big man. These are the realities. We see it across baseball. We're not alone here. Uh, but we certainly 
Uh, certainly have some news today that's disappointing on Joan Duran. He was he was injured list. Hopefully though we've caught it early enough. He didn't try and pitch through any of it that we can put ourselves in a decent spot to to get him back here as soon as possible. Carlos Santana with a one. -two. That's a Rocco you know discussion uh, more than it is here. We got to think about how we make on some of that role. Carlos Santana strikes out and Correa swings and misses. It's 0 and 1. Is there any sem this and um, you know we'll certainly evaluate it over the course of the next week as Carlos evaluates hitting the scoreboard with a home run. Kaboom. It's 2-1 in favor of the Red Sox. Sorry to interrupt you with that 420-foot blast. We're going to need to know over the course of the next week. It's really about, you know, letting it calm down, letting him feel better. Uh, the doctors... Now, Royce Lewis will now bat after the home run by Correa. Derek Falvey here delivering some news on Joan Duran. A couple of... Here, both Anthony DiScofani and Caleb Thielbar have been dealing with uh, some issues really from early on in camp. Um, in Anthony's case, we'll have a better update after Dr. Meister gives us an opinion on it, but he's certainly dealing with some forearm stuff that uh, that will be concerning and will ultimately lead guys, you know, the ability to, to learn how to get back in counts when you're behind, you know, the ability to uh, maybe spot up a fastball, what, you know, when you know you need to and put it in the right spot. He is tracking in that direction. I think hopefully, you know, he knows that he's in a great, great place for this team right now, and we're going to need him among the other four guys that we have in the rotation. Yeah. That's Absolutely. playoff baseball. Right. That's when you're going about as as, <laughs> as high as it goes. And, you know, now when you're going and thinking about our opportunity to do that, he's been through the starter routine more than he's been through the bullpen routine. So he's going to miss there. We obviously shut him down at that point, as you would, try and get him back to a good place, build him up to throwing. He's feeling good in the course of the full season is to slow that progression down again. Uh, he will start the season on the injured list. Uh, but hopefully, we going through the young pitcher growing pains that you see some guys go through, too. So it's good to have that many guys in the mix. Kepler lines one into right field. That's going to be a base hit for Max. And Max with just his probably just a, a little bit more. You went in, in a matter of day from wondering. When we start spring training, we tell everybody, yeah, there's a projection that everyone has for who your 26-man roster is on opening day. Without something happening along the way, that's true across all of baseball. So you have to be ready. You have to get out there and you have to put yourself in the best position to be ready when that time comes. And I there's some openings. Now there's some things and some decisions we've got to make here toward the end of camp. 1-1 one, one is bounced down to third base. Dahlbeck is up with it. He's going to throw out Ryan Jeffers. Can we keep you for a half inning to talk about some of the good stuff? Absolutely.